Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Gary's Mod video, and I'm really excited to be showcasing Gary's Mod from a different perspective. So we did take a look at Gary's Mod in VR a while ago. This is definitely going to be an updated version though, because it's been so long, and I just gotta say, Gary's Mod, or Construct specifically, looks amazing in VR. Maybe they made it look better or something, but everything just looks so much more detailed than I last remember. The resolution is awesome, just the sheer scale of everything, like this building, is kind of scary. But of course, we're not here to gawk about weapons, we're here to showcase some of the amazing new improvements that were made through Gary's Mod VR. But of course, you can also download mods to help your experience be even better, and that's exactly what we did and we're gonna take a look at those mods, but first things first, we need to talk about some of the issues. So for one, it's not perfect, unfortunately. I had a lot of problems where I tried to load in and there'd be this pop-up that I had to go onto my actual computer and then disable, and this happens every single time you respawn. So try not to die. Also, I had a problem with some of the player models not really working very well, but this is easily relieved by just restarting the VR. All right, so everything from switching weapons to opening up the menu, it's all here, including the context menu, and you can even do no clip. But we're gonna start off with the VR weapons. And these are gonna be VR versions of the standard Half-Life 2 weapons. And I gotta say, these models look incredible. No longer do we have to deal with the one-sided weapons. Now when you flip it over, you'll see the actual side of the weapon and not just right through it. But even more so than just looking better, each of these weapons can be manually reloaded. You grab ammo with your non-dominant hand and then put it in, and then you even have to pull back and cock it just like a real weapon. It honestly is pretty amazing. You can even dual grip and then just fire away. When I first downloaded this weapon mod, I did not expect it to be this in depth, and it really does feel more like Onward or Pavlov, which is just incredible to think that we are returning Carrie's mod into a really good VR game. Now, of course, we have the pistol, we have the revolver, and a bunch of other weapons. I am gonna go over each of the weapons because the reload is pretty awesome either way. One of my favorites is the shotgun, because not only do you have to put in each shell, but you even have to cock it back just like a real shotgun. This, in my opinion, is one-to-one -one just like Onward or Pavlov. So, once again, incredible to have this kind of quality in Gary's mod. Oh, and of course, now I can caress Odessa up close and personal. So yeah, I spent probably a good 20-30 minutes just messing around with the weapons because it really is awesome. However, I could not, for the life of me, get the grenade to work. I thought you had to pull the pin, I tried all different sorts of hand gestures, and I just could not get it to pull. So, that one I'm gonna have to figure out. But I think my favorite weapon overall in this pack is the physics base crowbar. Now you don't have to press right click to do an animation, you can actually swing the crowbar and do some real damage. And I gotta say, it feels awesome because the hits are really accurate. Once again, feels like something from Boneworks or some other really high quality game. And then we have the AR. Now the AR is really cool because, I mean, the magazine on this thing is huge, but I wanted to know if you could do secondary fire and it took me a long time to figure this out, like five or six minutes. I finally figured out that it was up on the touchpad, and yes, you can shoot energy balls. And now the crossbow. Yes, that's right. You can now make trick shots in VR. And yes, also, the scopes and the sights work on all the weapons. So, the SMG, for instance, or the crossbow, and it works really well. This pack, it, it was seriously blowing me away every minute I spent playing with it. And I just gotta say, the rocket launcher looks a lot bigger in VR compared to standard. Alright, so all this stuff is really cool and everything, but now we're gonna go on to the three mods that are going to make this even better and more immersive. And the first one is weight-based items. So, you know like in Boneworks, for instance, when you pick up items, you know, the heavier stuff, it kind of moves slower to try to simulate the heaviness, the weight? That's what this mod tries to do. So, you can pick up a really light item, very easy, toss it around, no problem. Or you could pick up a heavier item and you're gonna notice it's not as easy to move around. Now, it's hard to convey this through video, but guys, trust me, it was quite a bit more difficult to move these things around quicker. Now, unfortunately, there are some items that you just can't pick up because obviously you need the gravity gun or the fizz gun for that, but for the ones that you can pick up, 
it really does add that extra level of immersion. All right, now the next one, and this is going to be one that's going to be very hard to convey. In fact, I was not prepared for this, so I couldn't find a way to get buttons to work. For some reason, the tool menu also wasn't working when I played, but I ended up fixing it later on. You can interact with buttons. That's right. So actual buttons, you no longer have to press. You can just push with your physical hand. Now, I'll probably show some video footage of the creator because he has an amazing video showcasing this in proper detail. So this is just a small taste of some of the awesome things that you can do with this mod. So if you ever come across a button or a lever or anything like that, including, of course, the healing machines, whether it's the armor one or the health one, you just have to click with your finger and you're able to actually heal. Now I tried to get dupes to work because I really, really wanted to get the VR mod in here so I could put a VR helmet on in VR, you know, the super meta stuff. Unfortunately, some of the dupes don't work too well. I did get the explosive barrel cannon to work, but it was a little finicky at first until I figured out how to push the actual button. Now guys, it's recommended that you do play this without any other mods installed. I have a bunch of mods installed, so I took a risk, but I didn't really have too many problems. However, I do think some of my issues were caused from some of the add-ons I did have installed. All right, and last up, and this is something that really is incredible. You can actually physically pick up pickups. So whether it's the health vials or the health kits or even weapons, ammo, any of that, Normally, you know, you walk over it, you automatically pick it up. Well, now that's disabled because you have to actually physically grab it and then put it into your body to pick it up. And this just adds again that extra level of immersion. In fact, this goes really well with the item weight mod that we just talked about because now the lighter items are going to feel like they're even lighter and then the heavier stuff, obviously heavier. Now, of course, my health vials and health kits are fully custom. If you want to see more info on that, I'll put a video in the top right corner. But this was also just a really cool add-on to add. And guys, fun fact, the three add-ons I just showcased were all from the same guy. So to this creator, I am so thankful, man. Thank you for making Gmod VR even more immersive. I can't wait to test out some of the other things. Guys, if you have any mod suggestions you want to do, definitely do leave them down below. I mean, I can just imagine some of the crazy things like going on the sinking ship maps or going into the back rooms, maybe? It's a lot of fun, and my final thoughts on Gary's Mod VR is, it has come a long way, and if I had to give it a rating, I'd say it's at like an 8 out of 10 right now. There are some bugs, of course, but honestly, I am shocked by how well this works. So, if you have a VR headset, definitely do check this out. It is even better than I remember, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Guys, leave a like, subscribe if you want. Thank you so much for watching. This was a very fun video to make. I'll see you guys in the next video, and until next time, thanks for watching, and farewell.